Hi ho! It's Woo's the Collector here, and this is episode 28 of the Collectors, Geeks, and Freak Show. Okay, so what came out this week? Avatar, The Way of Water. Been waiting for this one just like everybody else. Um, did James Cameron perform magic again? And Woo's opinion? Yes, he has. Okay, no spoiler review here. Uh, Avatar 2, Way of Water, uh, almost a three-hour movie, if not a little bit longer. So be prepared to sit, and you're not going to want to leave the theater. Uh, I saw it XD 3D. If you're going to see Avatar, uh, this is the way you have to see it. Large screen and 3D. That's what Cameron made the movie for. Um, all his new um, film uh, cinematography that he's using... It must have cost Disney millions because, um, from what I understand, they have to make a hell of a lot of money um, to make this movie worthwhile. So, we'll see on the coming weeks what, how that pans out and will be there be more avatars. Supposedly, Cameron's got a back load of them. He's got already three ready, four, five, and six as far as I know. And I quote James Cameron, he is the only one who can direct Avatar. Probably true. Because he started the story. He started the the lore and the um, the filming. The, just the way he filmed it. The little details you'll see in the film. Like, um, obviously, Way of Water. We're in water, so it's a different part of Pandora we're seeing now. But even when they're shooting at people in the water or things in the water, you watch the bullets slow down. And drop off in the water. Most movies you don't you don't see that, but that's how a bullet would react if it was in water. So even the smallest details keep your eyes out for. It's an incredible cinematog cinematography or the, the cinematography in this movie is awesome. The three D pops. Um, you're, you it looks like you're watching um, an actual movie, and these characters aren't CGI. Um, or whatever the technology they're using in this film. Um, definitely have to see this one in theaters, folks. So I, I would see it. Uh, stories good enough where it's separate from the first movie, but together. I don't know if that makes sense to you all. But at least it's, it's not a retelling of the first one in all parts and purposes. Um, we'll like to see how he goes with this story from here on out. But yeah, don't walk, run to see Avatar 2 Way of Water. Just my opinion. See it in the theaters. It'll be out in the theaters probably for the next four to eight weeks, if not more. Um, especially around the holiday time. So, yeah. I was quite impressed with it. So, except here is a PSA from Woos. To all you parents out there, leave your toddlers at home. This is not a movie to bring your three or four year old. So, they're there talking the whole movie and jumping out of their seat, hanging over the railings, and then expect someone not to shush them like Wu's did. Wu's never shushes anybody, but he had to shush this kid because it just got too much. I have kids. They're grown now, but I would never think of them bringing them to a movie like that. That's why we didn't see movies as my kids were growing up because we knew better. Come on, people. That's Have some... <sighs> I'm, I, I'm so flustered that I, I can't even look for the words to say to people. And then the kids on the, 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 the other side of me acting like they're at home. It, you're not at home. You're a movie theater. Teach your children common courtesy when out in public. It's not your house. It's not how you raise kids. Oh, here we go. I'm going on a rant. Don't listen to me. Just don't bring your kids to movies that if they can't behave. Bring them to the kids' movies where Wooz is in at. All right, let's get over that. Avatar 2, go see it in theaters. James Cameron did it again. Lightning in a bottle. Will Is it enough to sustain the, the story he has coming and to be able to make movies? That we'll have to wait and see. Only the box office will tell. Uh, watch Bullet. Uh, jump into another movie. Watch Bullet Train last night with Lady Woods because you really want to see it. I picked it up on 4K for $16.99. Um, it was a good movie for parts that I didn't sleep to. But this is Wu's problem. He drinks on Saturdays. Wu should not drink and then watch, try to watch a movie because he falls asleep during it. So I'll be re-watching that one. 
Um, but it was good. Brad Pitt was good in it. It, it. it had some good comedy moments, and the action was pretty cool. So if you haven't seen Bullet Train, I suggest you see that one as well. Um, what I've been binging, I just started Umbrella Academy, only one episode in. Uh, my verdict's still out on that one yet. I wasn't too impressed with episode one. Uh, what else have we watched? Oh, co finished Cobra Kai. Love Cobra Kai, the series. That's another Netflix series. If you haven't watched it and you're a fan of 80s movies and the Karate Kid movies, it's a definite must-watch, especially if you're a huge Karate Kid fan or just like the movies in general. The show is awesome. Um, so Cobra Kai, that was the fifth season, I believe, and we got six coming up, so... We'll see how long this one goes to. Um, yeah, I think that's it on my watch list for now. Um, we did do some shopping yesterday out at the um, near the theaters, so I did stop at Target, um, and I picked up this guy, Ben Kenobi. I did have him on pre-order. I got R two and Emperor got delivered, and I think R two is in one of the boxes here, but. Ben has been sitting on my, the list is waiting to ship. So, like I told you, if if at all possible, I had the feeling about him. I said, let me pick him up and cancel the pre-order. Cancel the pre-order right in store and picked up the best box. So, I got my Ben Kenobi from Target. Exclusive. Target red card, you get 5% off. So, not much, but it's still better than anything. Also, stop by my local GameStop. Um... I had my $5 uh, Gamers Pro coupon, which if you guys don't know, if you sign up for their magazine, Game Shop Pro, uh, Gamer Pro account, uh, you get it without uh, the magazine. It's $14.99. It's, uh, after three times, it's worth it. You get a $5 coupon every month. So within three months, you paid for the subscription, and then you got $5 coupons. So I had a $5 coupon. You got to use it by the end of the month or you lose it. So I knew this was out. Only thing I could find in the store I wanted. Uh, it, this is a GameStop exclusive Mandalorian uh, mystery pop mystery box. There's two pops in here, um, a pin, a decal, and an iron-on patch. Uh, so it was $29.99 retail. Picked it up for uh, $24.99 with my card. So that's not bad. That's $12.50 a pop. So to me, it's worth it, and we're going to open this puppy right now to see what pops I got. Uh, will I pick up the other ones? There's four mystery pops in this one. I hate getting duplicates. That's the only thing that sucks about these mystery boxes. But there he is, un unwrapped in plastic. Let's see how they packed them in the box. Oh, all right, got some bubble wrap in the box. And let's put them down. And this is the unboxing. So we got... Uh, little mandalorian sticker with grogu okay uh, the pin it's got to be an insignia of some kind i'm not sure i'll have to look that up not too thrilled with the pin uh the iron on patch is uh the mandalorian ship the razor crest and we've got a remnant trooper exclusive and the Marilornian with the um when he did the battle with the mud horn. So he's covered in mud. So let's slide these guys out, take a little closer look at them. Alright. Yeah. Uh, I, I dig the Mandalorian with the the mud horn battle one, so I'm glad I got him right out of the box. So that's cool. I wanted him. And I dig the remnant trooper too, so I'm glad that I got these guys in my first try i may pick up another one of these boxes if i have a coupon or if they go on sale for a bit less but for 12.50 a pop i don't think that's bad and i'm quite happy with that purchase so if you were thinking about buying the star wars mandalorian gamestop exclusive box i'd say it's well worth it especially if you can get it um cheaper but even for 29.99 look at it this way 15 dollars a pop GameStop is if you're selling their exclusives pops for 15 bucks. So you're making out. So it's not terrible. You're not spending a lot. You're getting a, uh, a sticker or a decal and a pin for nothing. That's the way I look at it. All right. We got some packages to open here. 
This is Amazon. Uh, no really package problems this week coming in deliver. They put them on the side porch at least. Um, or in the front box. This could be a pre-order. I don't know. No packing in there. But we have the, uh, at least it came in the shipping box for the pop. Oh, Power of the Galaxy. This is a, a Princess Leia exclusive. Where I've gotten the rest of these. This was a pre-order. Stickers. Oh, that's just the, the um, plastic. Just bent a little. Weird. No, it is the sticker. The sticker's sticking up a little. Oh, like somebody pushed it in there, but that's not bad. But that's Princess Leia. Um, that's the Power of the Galaxy line that they're going with. It was all the Star Wars heroines. So we picked her up. Uh, we also got two boxes from Target this week. And my Black Friday Ent Entertainment Earth box is here. It's huge. I'll show you guys that we're going to save that for second to last. Also got the um, Midtown Comics preview order this week. So we'll see what comics I got in there. I'll let you know what's good to read after we check out what toys I got. Um, by the way, GameStop is running a clearance sale online. I did do another order, even though I said I wasn't going to do any uh, more shopping. But uh, just to let you know, I paid with PayPal. And you could break it up into four payments every two weeks. So I spent just under 200 but it's under it's 40 bucks for the next two weeks, and I'll have it paid off. No interest. That's awesome. So if if you want to break down your payment shirt, there's always options for this stuff. All right. I wish it was packed a little better, but I've been waiting for this guy. Couldn't get him on pre-order. I hope he's in good condition. This is Bullseye. And he's got the Spider-Man t-shirt on for Spider-Man's 60th anniversary this year. I wanted to pre-order this guy, but I couldn't. I'm trying to get... Oh, there he is with it. Stupid Claire. There we go. Look at that. Bullseye with the Spider-Man t-shirt. So awesome. So glad I was able to get him online. Um, free shipping. He looks awesome condition. I'm very happy with this one. Another Target box Move across the floor. Uh, I think this is the R2D2 to go with the Ben, the comic book exclusive ones from Target. I pre-ordered him. I think he shipped this week. No, not R2 yet. Or did I open R2? I lose track after a while. Our two babies sitting behind me in the pile that I need to catalog soon. Or make a dent in. Nope, this is the Green Lantern comic book one from the Justice League. So he's in good shape. I did land up pre ordering all of them. So I'm waiting for those guys to come in. But those are pretty cool. So there's another Target exclusive. And that's it for the little boxes. Now. I'm going to pick up this entertainment earth box to just show you. They had some good sales on Black Friday. Here's my huge entertainment earth box. Look at that. It fills up the frame. All right. Let's open this puppy up and show you what I got. Entertainment earth usually packs pretty good. So let's hope that they did a good job packing it. But lots of paper in here. I'm going to try to shrink it up and show you stuff. Lots of paper. Their catalog. They always throw a catalog in there. I usually go through it. They give you a $10 or not $10, 10% off with this order. You got to use it within so many days. Oh, yeah. Lots of packing. <laughs> oh, wow. This is I'm gonna open him. I, I bought this one. He's another $200 statue. The Crow premium resin statue. I'll do an unboxing of this guy too. Um, he will be going up in the Woo's Cave. Like I said in the past, I'm a huge The Crow fan. The original movie with Brandon Lee. Uh, 
Um, so I picked this guy up for 124. Uh, I believe he was a 199 to begin with. So I got him on Black Friday. Uh, let's hope everything else in here is wrapped well. And it looks like it is. They look like it. It's like wrapping unwrapping Christmas presents. So, oh, and they got bubble wrap around them. So we'll see how this is. Uh, Lando Calrissian Black Series. Um, he's a peg warmer, but I got him for like six bucks on clearance. So um, hadn't bought him yet, but I got him. All right. Yeah, they. It looks like they wrapped everybody around and put them all around the crow, and the crow went in the middle. So they all look. They look wrapped good. So and Entertainment Earth does not ship. Um, Bad boxes. That's one of their things. They they um, guarantee mint condition unless you buy it. They have options there too. And Entertainment Earth is one of my favorite websites to shop on because they they got so much toys, statues, any kind of collectible you can imagine. You can usually find coupons for them. Free shipping, I think, is usually over seventy five dollars, um, which is easy to spend there. Um, uh, Clone Commander Wolf. He was another one. I, uh, I believe he might be an entertainment exclusive. I didn't pay more than fifteen for him. Not sure off the top of my head, but I did pay for him. Okay, and next, I'm waiting for these. Uh, deceased knight. I'm working on getting the whole. Uh, deceased line of these guys and these aren't McFarlane I don't think uh, DC Warner Brothers I don't know who makes these DC Essentials but yeah this is from the deceased storyline so I ordered a bunch of these on GameStop clearance $13 so that was that order too I I like the deceased storyline because it's zombie-like, and you know, so I figured I'd get the figures. Oh, here's another one. The unkillable Deathstroke. I got him too. These were um, thirteen or fifteen. Like I said, no more than fifteen dollars have I paid for any of the six-inch figures. I try to keep that in my mind. If I think something's going to sell out or is going to be good, I'll grab it. Uh, Harley Quinn, this was another one on clearance from Birds of Prey. I thought the figure looked cool, so I picked her up. I think this is the last one in here. Yes, it is. Wow, there's a lot of paper in that box. I'm not doing good for the environment, huh? Oh, these are my little figures. Oh, three of them. I've been wanting Hondo for a while. These are the vintage uh, Star Wars ones. I really like these um, ones with the throwback uh, card backs. So these guys are pretty cool. That's Hondo from Star Wars Rebels. Um, pretty cool character. He's a pirate, space pirate. So we picked him up. He was really cheap. Uh, heavy battle droid. I picked him up. Really uh, cheap, too. That's from the uh, Battlefront 2 game. All right. And I picked up a Star Wars Lando Calrissian. See, and this one's not too much. But, uh, the, again, I think I paid 4 bucks for them. So I really like the throwback vintage ones because they remind me of me being a kid again. Get my Star Wars presents when I was a kid and open up all the figures in the ships. My dad used to take me to pick out my own presents, so I remember picking out one year the Ewok Village. I had that. Uh, I think he let me get the Millennium Falcon one year, but that's the, that's the stuff that I remember. So that's all my collectibles that I got this week. I did get a Midtel comic order. We're going to go through this really quick, too. I'm going to open him up. Like I said... Midtown Comics is pretty much one of the, my, my main, well, it is my main go-to for comics. If I miss something, I usually go to local stores to try to find it. Again, Midtown Comics preview orders, you save up to 35% or possibly more, and they're always packed like this. I've never gotten it. Sometimes you get um, 
like publishing errors you could tell, but never anything to do with shipping. One time, missed the comic, sent it to me, my next order. So this looks like a fairly big one because we've got two wrapped. Midtown comic bags. This is one of two, and this is so we'll start with one. Right. Pulling up my paper from here, but that's okay. We'll put that aside. We'll open this up. We'll go through these comics. All right, as what we got here. Get my hair out of my mouth. Um, Star Wars Darth Vader. No-brainer for Star Wars fans. Um, I like the story in um, Star Wars, Darth Vader. Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man. Um, I think this is just a limited series. Wasn't too thrilled with the first issue, but we'll see if it gets any better. If it's a limited series, I think it's only six, so I'll get them. Um, Murder World, Avengers. I had a bunch of where Arcane... Got the X-Men, the Avengers. So I picked these up. These are one-shots. All Out Avengers, which um the new team story. Aliens, because I've been reading the Marvel Aliens. Um, I like the stories of the Aliens and Predator. Oh, this is Creep Show. This is another one. If you loved the Creep Show TV shows. The comic is worth checking out. This is the new comic. This is a limited series, and I believe it's from Image. Yes, you can get this on Image Comics. They'll probably do the trade paperbacks. I collect them all, but cool little stories just like that. Uh, Avengers Forever. I've been reading that. I love my Avengers stories. Uh, Deceased World of the Gods to go with my figures. Sergeant Rock versus the Army of the Dead. Um, written by uh, Bruce Campbell, Ash, <laughs> from The Evil Dead. Uh, so far, so good. I enjoyed it. I, If you like zombies and the dead and Nazi zombies, worth a read. DC vs. Vampires, one of my other ones. I think I have a hair on my nose. That's why I keep scratching it. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yep, so DC Vampires, another one of my favorite uh, stories that's going on. Dark Crisis, The Dark Army. This is a one-shot that goes with The Dark Crisis, which I uh, one more to read on that one, and that's done. We've got Batman, The Joker, The Deadly Duo. Uh, this is another short story. Uh, pick it up. It's a good good Batman story with The Joker. Um, they team up. So we'll leave it at that. Um, I read the first one. I enjoyed it. Looking forward to it. Continue reading that. Uh, we got Vanished. This is also from Image. I picked it up uh, this time. I read the thing in uh, the little little trailer thing or whatever you want to call it that's online. And I saw the art. And I like the art. This is uh, magic in our world. And uh, they don't show their they have magic anymore. These old magicians come on a superhero team and they go up against this guy here. Um, which the superhero team is actually bad guys. Or were bad guys, but are now good guys. I don't know. It's an interesting story. Something worth picking up. We got Star Wars Yoda, number one. I I pick up all the Star Wars ones. The only one I'm not reading is Doc, Dr. Alf, Alfra. Alfra? I, I'm not too keen on her. I'm not too keen on this one, too. The story's been eh. Han Solo and Chewbacca. I'll probably just go up to 12 on this, and if they continue, I'm going to stop at 12. Uh, Star Wars Revelations. This is a bunch of Star Wars stories. Um, so I picked that up. Worth a read if you're a Star Wars fan. Star Wars Hidden Empire. Um, it's got to do with Crimson, Crimson Dawn. So I don't know how they're fitting in the whole Crimson. Crimson Dawn thing inside the original movie, so we'll see. Gold Goblin. Uh, that is Norman Osborn now as the Gold Goblin because if you've been reading the Spider-Man comics, 
Norman Osborn has been cleansed of all his sins by the Sin Eater. Um, so he, in all intents and purposes, has never done any of the evil acts he's done. So he's helping Peter. He's working with Spider-Man. So it, it's a ongoing story. Uh, and we'll see where it goes. Well, you can see where it goes, too. Pick up your local Spider-Man comics. Amazing Spider-Man. All this Spider-Man. And Spider-Man's another one. Got a lot of titles. Uh, Blade and Vampire Nation. Because I like Blade. And he's coming from the pages of Avengers right there. And how um, they, they dumped all the, the vampires off at Chernobyl. <laughs> and they live in Chernobyl now. So that's kind of cool. We got... Oh. This is my first one of getting these. Um, they did uh, Batman One Bad Day of different villains. This is the Mr. Freeze one. Um, I have to get some of the other ones that came out. And then I'm going to read all these probably together. They're all individual stories as far as I know. Amazing Spider-Man 14. And that got the Gold Goblin and stuff like that. And that one, that's the newest... I think it's volume five now of Amazing Spider-Man, or six, could be more. I lose count. Right. And uh, Spider-Man three. And this one's the end of the Spider-Verse storyline. Oh, Planet Hulk, World Breaker. Looking forward to this. Uh, he's on a new planet now, so if you haven't read the Hulk, catch up on the Hulk. He's been on a new planet now. Um, he did the whole starship thing, which I hate. So Hulk was flying through space. And it was kind of dumb to me, but it, hopefully it's over. Philadelphia. Vampires and dead American presidents. Well, they're not dead anymore because they're vampires. But this is a must read for horror fans and vampire fans. I wish they would turn this into a movie or a trilogy of movies or a show. This book is awesome. Awesome horror comic book. In my opinion. Got regular Avengers. Uh, this looks like a big issue of Avengers. Let's see what we got here. Oh, number one. Avengers Assemble Alpha. So they came out with some other ones. And we're going through the alternate, uh, the multiverse right now. With them. Midnight Suns, horror, Marvel horror magic. Oh, the Dark Web storyline, my first one. It was a Spider-Man, um, and we're going to see here. It sounds like the web of fate is changing again. Oh, the last of the current Predator story. Uh, the girl whose parents were killed... Um, by a predator and she hunts all the predators down. It's been pretty good story um, Punisher 8. Yes, I picked up the Punisher. I got to catch up on this new Punisher who took over the hand Secret Wars invasion. Sorry secret invasion. I read the first one. I'm not Sure where they're going with this. It looks like a past story, but I can't tell yet, but we'll wait and see here is another cool horror story, Night of the Ghoul. I think this is the last one. Um, the ghoul eats dead people and hides inside of people. Um, it was a good, good story. A uh, little long. It's a, it's a long reader, but I enjoyed it. So I would say pick it up if you can. Here's the first six issues of The Punisher as uh, Taken Over the Hand. Um, I didn't pick them up and then I read a little bit about it and then I decided, well, let me pick up the first six issues in a trade paperback and then I'll start reading them one at a time as they come out, which I started to do. Um, uh, we've got Hidden Empire 2, which we saw Hidden Empire 1 in there, so we'll be reading that. Thanos, Death Notes, anything with Thanos I pretty much read, so we'll see what that's all about. <laughs> Um, Dark Crisis, the last uh, one shot. This is Warzone. So I picked up some of the one shots, not all of them, just some that seem interesting to me. 
Ghost Rider, and I love this cover of Exhaust. He's a new villain. Uh, that's he's the psychic. He's Johnny Depp and Ghost Rider merged, kind of into a new villain. Um, he looks really cool. There's that we've got a new oh, Last Night Standing. Dark Crisis, World Without a Justice League, Batman story. So I got to pick that up. My comics are falling on my figures. We can't have that. Wow, that's a lot of comics. And last but not least, DC versus Vampire All Out War. Like I said, I've been digging those stories. Um, and they've been great. And that's all I got for you guys this week. Um, next week is Christmas. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever your thing is. Happy, be happy. I'm happy with my toys, you be happy. All right, folks, this is Woo's the Collector, and I am signing off.